How big was Ty on, and did you know he had it in him? Uh, I mean, he was great today. Um, you know, he's been he's been kind of struggling. Um, you know, in practice uh, for about you know for a while now. Um, we needed him as a spark coming off the bench um, to start the second half, actually. So I think he he, he gave us just that. So I'm, I'm proud of him. What was the struggle in the first half? What 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 led to such offensive trouble? I would say just both both ways. Uh, both teams were just, I mean, not finding the basket. There was literally a lid on the basket. So I mean, just defensively keeping them from scoring and you know trying to trying to get an easy basket or trying to get going in some way. Um, but second half we picked it up. Oh, try regardless of how it looked, how good was it just to get a win? I mean, it feels good just to just to be back on track, um, you know, be back on the wing column um, in this, uh, you know, because in this uh, in this conference, you know, it's, it's uh, hard sometimes to come by wins, um, but it's it's good to you know get back home and uh, uh, get a win in front of the home crowd. Ochai, what did you make of uh, David's three, and what were you thinking when you set him up on that late in the shot clock? Uh, so he, I called him up for a screen. He kind of popped out of it, or he picked and popped up to uh, to the top, and I saw his man. Uh, stay in, so I just you know threw it to him, and uh, he's like that was a huge shot. So that was that was good. Do you see him hit those ever in practice, or did, how much did that surprise you? <laughs> actually, no, he doesn't. He doesn't even shoot those in practice. <laughs> he actually doesn't shoot those in practice. So it's kind of it was kind of different. But I mean, I've seen I've seen him shoot threes before. They practice it, but we don't when we when we're playing five on five. He doesn't really shoot those. <laughs> Hey, Otai, what's, what's kind of the vibe after a game like this, a night like this? I mean, is it like, feel like a typical win or maybe a little less encouraged because you all would have liked to do to, like to have done even better? Or? No, I mean, a, a win is a win at the end of the day. Um, you know, coming off of three straight losses, I mean, that's that's what we just wanted to come in here and do um, no matter what. And, you know, we um, have to win games like those where, you know, things aren't going our way offensively. And, you know, we really got to lock in defensively and, you know, make them really play bad. But um, those wins are those wins are always fun, and I think you know all the guys are enjoying this win too. How good was Marcus late? I, I think he set you up on your dunk, and then uh, had the steal and dunk right after that. It was great. Um, Coach was saying that uh, you know players make plays, and I think those two plays were uh, you know he found me for the backdoor dunk, and then his steal and dunk were were game changers. Really, just late in, late in the game that you know kind of set us not set us apart, but you know gave us that energy to to close it out. So. Hey, you guys know that DeWan has that kind of game in him, and, and he sparked you in the second half as well. Do you feel like he's grown up uh, between the last couple of months and, and maybe more ready to make that kind of impact on a regular basis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we, we, you know, push confidence into him all the time. Um, you know, he's a great teammate to us and all of us. So, I mean, I'm, I'm confident in what he does, and we, we trust him um, moving forward. And I think, you know, he's, he's – uh, He's in place to step up, so I'm ready. I'm ready for that. What's your favorite part about what he brings? Uh, just really, just really his uh, his activeness defensively, and you know, offensively, just being a true point guard. You know, getting to move and getting uh, guys involved. Um, I think that's just the biggest thing he really does. He's really, you know, a, a selfless player. Um, plays for his teammates, and you know, we need guys like that. OJ, how did Tyon react to his first real good game? Was he pretty happy afterward? Yeah, yeah, he's happy. Um, I mean, he's always he always has a good attitude um, when we win or when we have win, uh, won. So I mean, that's always good to have a teammate like that when when things are going his way and when things aren't going his way. He still has a positive attitude. So it was good to see things go right for him. And uh, you know, so that's good. What do you think of the Tennessee game? All of a sudden, you got to play in a day on Saturday. Yeah, quick quick turnaround. Um, leave tomorrow. Um, that's that's how it is. We kind of had a had a while our break from last Saturday game. So I think um, you know going to this, we just we're just gonna have you know a tough stretch moving forward. But you know that's that's what we came here to do: play and play against uh, the the highest teams and the highest level of competition. Is there one thing you're most encouraged about after tonight, other than the result, of course? Uh, really, just really just everyone. Um, you know, buying in, um, you know, late in, this, late in the game. And I think just, just really just closing out the game and, and finishing it off, I think, was, was the biggest thing. Just having the energy and, and the, everyone's positive attitude was, was good. I think that was good just today.
Ocha, you ever watch Tennessee on TV this year? They're known for their defense, I think. I watched them a couple of times, or a couple of games, but um, you know we're gonna we're gonna have to scout them tomorrow and uh, go over all their film and all that. So so we'll be ready for them. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Coach.